I found this drum uh, beside the bins just outside my house and uh, yeah it's a bit sad that somebody wanted to throw it away because it's um, it's in good working order so after asking around and doing a bit of research I found out that this is probably a djembe and uh, I'm gonna share what I've learned and maybe play a little bit for you. The djembe comes from West Africa it's a goblet shaped drum uh, that uses this kind of rope tuning system and uh, it's an animal skin on top it's made from one whole piece of wood normally an African hardwood uh, there's a myth that the skin was originally made from a mixture of a giraffe and a zebra but that doesn't seem possible so <laughs> this drum was created most likely during the Malian Empire by the Mande people. They say that it's between 400 and 800 years ago this came to be. The name came a little later from the Banama people, su supposedly, and they had a phrase, Anke J, Anke Be, and that means gather together everybody. So J means gather and Be means together. To tune the drum, you basically add little twists in uh, the chord and you can add knots and there's a, there's a system for doing so, which I found online. I don't think this drum is actually following the system, there's just like a bit of a mess of knots. But um, if you want the skin to be taut, you can just add knots to this here and some people might uh, put like solid objects in here to pull the strings further from the from the body of the drum so actually playing the drum you're supposed to if you're seated supposedly you put it just here like that above your your thighs i'm not going to do a very good job of this because i just learned it today but there's there's three tones the first one the bass tone is where you strike it with a lot of your hand in the middle. There's the open tone where it's more like your knuckles are at the edge of the drum and it's a higher pitch. Yeah, then there's the slap. So supposedly you just have a relaxed hand and you hit it in a similar manner to the, to the open tone, but it just gives you a little bit more um, high pitch. But yeah, getting that consistency on the tones, it's, it's actually quite difficult. You'll notice as you're playing it, as you strike it from the outside towards the inside, it uh, goes from a higher pitch to a lower pitch. So that's like the bassiest tone now, right up to that more thinner sound on the edge. I'm going to have a go at uh, improvising a little beat. Um, I'm out of practice, so it'll probably sound like crap, but let's give it a go. Yeah, um, I'm missing the coordination for both hands, but uh, that's uh, as good as an example as I can give for now. So clearly I need um, some practice and realistically I don't know if I'll have time for that. So uh, I'll probably just record samples of the drum and uh, use it in my music. If there's anyone out there who's interested in the samples, let me know and I can share them with you.